Greetings, my movie ghouls. Welcome to another Halloween countdown 31 days of horror. A belated day 20, we're sorry. We watched 13 Ghosts. Thirteen Ghosts was written by Rob White and directed by Steve Beck and is a remake of the 1960 film Thirteen Ghosts by William Castle. It is the epitome of early 2000s flash CGI horror and I'll admit I do not like this film. I find it obnoxious and just plain bad. I wish I had recorded our reactions as we watched the film because there are scenes that just don't make sense. There are moments that go nowhere, and unfortunately, this, along with films like The Haunting and Ghost Ship, they are rendered unscary and extremely boring. Probably like this review. Now that I've said that, I think there is potential with this story. I feel like I should have watched the original 1960s version just to see how the story uh, should have been told. But unfortunately, I watched this one. Never mind. The story is about a crazy old man who has captured 12 angry ghosts of all shapes, sizes and crazy looks. And that's the one thing that this film has going for it. The makeup looks great. The problem with their look is that it makes them look like rejects from Hellraiser, but a cheaper PG-13 remake, Heckraiser. It's a shame because, as said, this film could have been great. There is imagination here, but the execution of the film is just not great. It just meanders and doesn't really go anywhere. I just wasn't scared. The actors include Tony Shalhoub, F. Murray Abraham, Shannon Elizabeth, to name a few. And for the most part, they play their roles that they've been given fairly well. But there are moments where the direction given seems ridiculously lazy. Take the scene when Shannon Elizabeth, as Kathy, is in the bathroom. As it said earlier, they haven't had a bathroom for a while or a bathroom that they can use without someone else using it. The angry princess ghost is walking through the house and decides to sit in the bath. But Kathy is looking in the mirror, fiddling with her hair. It goes on for ages and just looks as though she's been given uh, the direction just to distract herself while the ghost walks around her. It just looks awkward and fairly silly. She's literally doing that to her face. She's put water on her face, she's messing with her hair, but she's not really doing anything. There are more scenes like this, and unfortunately it's all edited together with epilepsy inducing flashes and quick cuts, adding and removing the ghost as it goes along. I would urge you all to give this film a wide berth. You've all probably seen it anyway, but if you do watch it, please let me know what you thought of it. And tell me if I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. But 13 Ghosts is crap. And I'm giving it a one pumpkin. I'm Nate the Ultimate Movie Geek. And for the next few reviews, I will be alone because of illness. Thank you for watching. And please like, share, subscribe and ring that bell to be notified every time we release a video. Sleep tight, everybody.